What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network, where we share exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com. Now, I have a snippet from a very special interview that I did with Mike Millions. This interview was almost two hours long, but this snippet right here is just one of my favorite parts of the interview. If you don't know who Mike is, he's an artist manager. Dude has a great perspective on the game just from all the lessons, right? The wealth he's of knowledge he's gained from what he did, right? Like the moving and shaking he's done through the game so far. This clip covers the difference between business, friends, and even family relationships when it comes to your music career in a way I honestly haven't really seen people break down and I think it's gonna be extremely valuable for not only how you learn to navigate right throughout the industry, but how you perceive things and take things on in general. So let's go ahead and check this out and I'll talk to you at the end. So when I'm going to the house and just hanging around with them, I'm already knowing like, yo, this is a bro from you know, before I even went to Nigeria, this is, bro, this is, my, you know, I already know the team, you feel me? But at the same time, not his right-hand man. So, you know, when you're not somebody's right-hand man, you, you know, you got to take what comes with it. So, yeah. So, especially when a celebrity, you feel me? Like, you might think, oh, because he know you, you invited to every event and this and that. Nah. And I'm not that type of person to be on no goopy stuff and no, oh, I want to hang out with you, oh, we best friend. Nah, you know, you're a man, you're doing your thing, and I'm a man doing my thing. Because my mom raised me to be a leader, I ain't a follower, so. Yeah. That was that. that I was like that you said that, though. That's, yeah. that's meaningful because yeah. there's a lot of situations, um, even before I was like dedicated in, 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 into the music industry, I, I would have homies that are moving throughout, and they will be involved in certain mm -hmm. situations, but they would tell me like how they feel yeah. in terms of thinking that they were supposed to have this situation or not being invited to a certain party. Yeah. And it's like, man, I do all this work, and you already probably not getting paid for a lot of these interns out and here. You, and, and you, you can't. Don't, and don't get offended. Do not yeah. get offended because it's just it just tells you got to put in more work. That's why I'm here today because mm -hmm. just like you said, okay, I know him. He was in my car going to clubs, not every day, not on a consistent basis, but. I know you before you became K Camp to the world. Mm -hmm. You feel I me? Mean? I know you as your first name, and I know you as, you know, I know you. So I don't know you like we're not best friends, but I know you. So I seen you, I seen you grind. So now you celebrity, you're, you're, you're K Camp to the world, you're, you know, you're just top celebrity. So it's like, you know, things change. Mm -hmm. Your personal friends, it's like they're on this side. Mm -hmm. And then now you got your entourage and your business friends. Like if you're an artist and you're a celebrity, you got your personal friends. The personal friends got their own life going on. So it's like they don't they don't really like they care about you, but it's like they got their <laughs> own stuff going on, right? Yeah. So it's like you can't get offended if they're not supporting you how your business friends are supporting mm. you, you know what I mean? Like so yeah, we all got our personal friends. This is us being a celebrity or being the famous person. And then you got your entourage, your the girls, the groupies, and then you got the um your business friends, right? Your, your business associates, your managers, your, yeah. your PRs, your role managers, your assistant, secretary, all that type of stuff. So those are the ones that's really tied in your career. Friends, day one friends, we're supportive, but we got our own thing going on too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't like my business. I got a business partner now. He don't even like going out to the clubs. You feel me? Yeah. And like he like he's happy for me. He's supportive of me, but that's not his lane. And I can't, I can't force him to. Right. You know what I mean? Now, if I say, oh, boom, we're about to go to the biggest club in the city and, and do this and that, he might show up. But it's like, and I know him deep down in my heart, he's rooting for me. But that's just not. Yes. He, he there for you. Yeah. More so, but he not the, like he, to he not there for the He's not there for what comes with it. You feel yeah. me? Like, a lot of people are supportive with you. So, if people are not supporting you. Yeah. Don't, like, I don't want to, I don't want you to think they're not supporting you because they don't care about you. It's just that they're not, they're not really, that's not their world. You feel me? Like, yeah. like when I do this music stuff and this industry stuff and certain people don't support me, I don't get offended because that's not their world. Mm. That's not, they don't understand it. They don't know what right. comes with it. They just think that, boo, 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 we, we going out, we having fun. Boo, boo, boo. They don't know that side yet. So it's like, you can't expect them. They don't support you the way you want them to support you. Don't get offended. They're right. just not tied in with that word yet. You just got to make them understand. You feel me? Just right. like the same way with my mom. Like, my mom, she supports me on her son, you feel me? 
but she don't know what I she don't know what comes with this with this whole industry stuff. Yeah, I'm the first one in the family doing this. I'm probably the only one. So she don't know what comes with it. And yeah. There's nobody that she could go into in her in her family and her friends or in her circle and be like, oh, what do I need to learn? So I could tell my son. It's all about oh, well he say he doing it. So I guess we're just you know I'm gonna be a mother. She gonna be a mother and tell me oh we'll do, we'll get your get your shit together. We'll do, we'll, you know. But at the same time, I gotta make it prove it to her. Be like okay, well, I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. But sometimes as a man, we we wanna we wanna we wanna tell them the finishing product. You feel me? Mm-hmm. One thing about me, I don't want like especially to my mom. I don't want to make my parents proud. So it's like yeah, I don't want to get them steps by steps. I just want to wake up Friday. I just want to wake up and be like, Mom, it's a million dollars in my account. Where you want to go? You feel me? Hey. That's what I want to do with Mom here. Yeah. That's yeah. I'm going to do. I feel you. Plus, you don't, you tell them about certain steps of the process, they might start worrying. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, like, especially my, when I first had my first artist, when we, it, when it ended bad, you know, but I, I forgive him. And when, uh, when I, you know, when, when, Mothers, especially African mothers, we they care. They they don't want they see their son like you know. My mother went through a lot dealing with me. You know, just having me from the from child and just just before even before I was born. So it's just mm-hmm. like she just wanted me to go the right way. So if I'm not going according to her plans, like it's like she she gets a little worried. But it's like you know, mm-hmm. who, what mother doesn't get worried when? Yeah. You're not I'm doing saying. what she wanted to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> what like, they think you should do. Exactly. Yeah, what they yeah, think yeah. you should do. Like, I'm 28. My mom thinks I should be married with kids, have a whole house. I'm like, mom, it doesn't work like that yet. It doesn't work like yeah. that. But I'm alive. I ain't dead. And I ain't in jail. Yeah. So. And you building. And I'm building. 100%. And I'm not asking you for money, so. Hey, that's for real. <laughs> so. All right, all right. I got a few things that I got to talk about this, man. I I love this snippet. And of course, if you want to watch the entire interview, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. But one of the things that I want to start with is just how he broke down your friends and them supporting you or the lack of support from your friends. Because just making it clear that, yo, they have their own lives and they don't even understand what's going on in this industry. They, they, you know, a lot of times think you're just having fun, right? They see bottles or see clubs or they see the artists and a lot of that stuff. It looks fun and creative, but it's real work. So they don't even understand sometimes what you're going through, the level of achievement you have. But look, leaving at the end of the day, They got their own lives. So I think that's important to touch on because a lot of times I hear artists and just people in general talk about their friends not supporting them like they think they should or think they would. And this is why we always say you got to get real fans. But then we're talking about the also on the other end, you have business associates and friends who will be supporting you more in your business. But you also have to realize, look, they're incentivized to do so more so because they aren't working somewhere else. They're working and try to move in, to move themselves up in the industry as well. It's not bad or good. It just is what it is. At the end of the day, you just, of course, have to still be able to manage and understand that difference, right? That that part of him talking about, look, I know this dude. We kind of homies and we friends, but I'm not his right hand man. And he has other people that are business related. And this is his business. Right? We get mixed up sometimes in music because people that they're dealing with that might not be friends like we're friends are still business people are a part of the business it's a company a company is a company of people and as the artist as the artist takes care of people around them and other people take care of people around them you have to realize that's a part of their job sometimes it's not about choosing you over them right if you're not the top of the person on the list of who we give free tickets to it's because of the reality of there's other priorities to get the business side of things done that doesn't make you more or less of a friend. And that's just some of the touchy stuff that we get into, but even also the family, right? And, and the way he talks about the family, where his look, his mom doesn't even know, right, what's going on in the music industry. Once again, it's just a whole different level of understanding. So understanding beyond that, that people will support you how they know how to support you. A lot of times there might be that conflict where you want to be supported one way, but they might not know how to support you that way. So you got to be able to communicate that because at the end of the day, 
this music thing, there's such a blurred line between the, the friends, the family, the business associates. If you don't start to get clarity on that and understand how to communicate right on each level to each different type of person then you'll likely just be playing yourself so watch this interview back like multiple times if you ever forget you feel like you ever get something twisted because mike really hit it on the head again in a way that i hadn't heard people talk about especially since he was breaking down a particular situation with him and how he had to learn you know you know yeah man we had some times together i didn't gave him plenty of rise and now he's up here in his career but there's this distance that gets created. He really talks and touches on why, obviously, in this snippet, but he expands on it even more so, you know, on the full interview. So if you want to check that out, of course, again, brandmannetwork.com. We help artists develop their fan base, build their brand, and to gain that infrastructure so they can continue to build and develop over and over and over again. And once again, this is another episode of Inside the Network. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.